evening. So tonight I want to talk with you guys about something we all have in common. <clears throat> it's something that we use every single day, and it's something that we may just take for granted, like the air that we breathe. The topic I want to talk with you tonight about is language. It's an essential part of our lives. Um, and if you ask anyone who's ever studied language, they'll tell you that it's incredibly complex and amazing. It's something which unites us, but it's also something that can divide us. It can be a point of discrimination, and we judge people based on the very language that they speak. Take this, for example. The idea that some people have that you need to either learn English or get out of here, right? We would rather have people learn our language than have to learn their language, right? But if you crunch the numbers with about 300 million United States citizens and about a billion people worldwide learning English, for every one US citizen, there's about three people in the world already learning English. So people are learning English, but it's us who are statistically behind on learning <coughs> other languages. Many Americans never learn another language. But what are we missing out if we don't learn another language? What are the benefits that you can gain from learning another language? So tonight, I want to talk with you guys about my story, learning a second language, and what it's done for me. I grew up not knowing another language. In fact, I didn't study one until I was in my 20s. I didn't even have to study one in high school. I was basically completely monolingual. But when I was 21, I moved to the Dominican Republic, and I didn't speak any Spanish. Um, but I started to learn words and phrases, and I was able to communicate minimally However, I thought it was a matter of just taking those Spanish words and plugging them into my English perception of language. Um, I was also able to make friends and I had a really great time, but I wasn't able to communicate and this lack of ability to communicate was really frustrating. So I decided to come home and learn Spanish. So as soon as I got back from the Dominican Republic, I took two Spanish classes over one summer. And the more that I learned Spanish, the more I realized that learning another language isn't just about being able to translate words. Every language has its own unique structure and way of seeing the world. Um, so I love learning Spanish, and it is as much as I possibly could to practice. I watch shows, I chatted on Skype, I just practiced as much as I could, and I did learn Spanish pretty rapidly. And so as soon as I graduated from Chico State, I moved to Ecuador to teach English. And this was the first time that I had been in a Spanish-speaking country actually knowing the language, and the experience was completely different than when I had been in the Dominican Republic. I was able to do a lot of really cool things. I traveled the country completely by myself and was confident. I made a lot of really amazing friends, and I had a really, really good time. <clears throat> um, but you may be thinking now, but like, so what, right? Not everybody likes to travel. Um, not everybody needs to know another language. Besides, everyone speaks English anyways. But the benefits of knowing another language go far beyond um, just being able to travel and communicate. And I'm still learning like, what knowing Spanish has done for me. So take, for example, this Facebook status update from a friend, and it's in French. But I don't speak French, but because I know English and I have this knowledge of Spanish now, I was able to understand exactly what he was trying to say with that status update. Another example is this book that was originally written in Spanish, and when I read it in Spanish, I thought it was amazing. However, when I read the English translation, it just wasn't the same. It wasn't as good. Things do get lost in translation. So to recap here, learning another language has given me the ability to travel to really cool places, make some amazing lifelong friends, get totally addicted to some really awesome shows that I would have never known existed, read books in their original language, and it's also helped me learn more about California. Did you guys know that Vacaville means cow town or that Chico is also a Spanish word, right? And it's also given me a whole new perspective. And this is the idea, the last thing I wanna talk about tonight is this idea that learning another language gives you a whole new eye through which to see the world. An article in the Wall Street Journal said that language does profoundly influence how we see the world. So learning another language isn't just about being able to go on vacation and say, where's the bathroom? It's about having an entirely new lens with which you can see the world and a com completely expanded and new perspective on things. So knowing another language expands your ability to understand and perceive the very world that you live in. So what I want to leave you guys with tonight is that you should broaden your horizons, expand your perspectives, learn another language. It's awesome.